<laughs> hey, 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 this is Jimmy for Jimmy's Rebuilders here. <laughs> Man, you never know what you're going to find on Copart here. I, I'm just cruising through here, through their page here, and I saw this 72 Chevrolet K5 Blazer. Man, this was a, this had to be a beautiful truck when it was uh, before all this, but it looked like it was uh, stripped and vandalized. But man, I tell you, this is a 72. These are really hard to find. <clears throat> man, look at this thing. They just took everything on this thing, but they left all the front end parts and everything. They didn't, uh, I mean, this thing is pretty, this thing was in pretty nice shape. It says it has a value of $30,000. I don't know, I don't know anything about these things, what they're worth or anything, but I would think, I would think what this thing, uh, before it was probably worth more than 30000 that's just me but uh, anyway it doesn't show to be an insurance company I can't tell if it's an insurance company or not I was looking on here didn't see anything and I didn't see any I looked Google and didn't see anything uh, but evidently it's an insurance company I'm not sure which one but uh, anyway I couldn't find a whole lot of information you couldn't do much on the VIN look because uh, there's not, not enough numbers in the VIN to do a car factory thing on Google didn't show up anything uh, I look for parts on eBay. <laughs> I mean, good looking trying to find some of these parts for this thing because they're just not any. Uh, the common parts like the front end stuff, you can find stuff like that, I'm sure. But uh, at least they left the console, which I, that would have been hard to find, I would think. Uh, but there's just not a lot of parts of this thing. I would take that stupid steering wheel and put a factory wheel on there, but that's just me. But uh, seats, no, I didn't see any seats, and the hardest thing is that top. You're, not, you're gonna be a hard time finding a top for that thing. Uh, if you want to put it back original with the top and everything, but look at this thing. I don't know if that's a spray and bed liner. It must be a spray and bed liner in there. I couldn't tell if you look at this thing. Uh, it must be a spray on bed liner. It looks kind of like it is. Yeah, it's a spray on. They sprayed this thing, spray on bed liner in here, but uh, got a roll bar in it. Left all that, uh, but uh, man. Look at this thing. Let's see what it says. Here's the dash. I couldn't tell. Miles, I don't know about. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't have enough digits anyway in the miles. So, what's it say? 54? I can't tell. Uh, 54. So, it could be 154. It could be 254. It's hard to say on these things. But, uh, anyway. But, uh, they took everything on the hood here. This is a pretty well equipped. It has power brakes, air conditioning. Uh, more likely, it's got power steering. They left all this stuff to condense and everything. He took the radiator. Uh, wire harness, you could they probably cut the wire harness, but you can, you can get another wire harness, especially if, since it's gone this far, you can go ahead and put a new wire harness in it by putting it back. But uh, somebody will put this thing back together, I'm sure. It's just, uh, these things are just too hard to find. But look at this, I was looking at this VIN. Look at this VIN on this thing. I've never, I've never paid any attention to these, but look how cool this uh, VIN plate is on here. Or not the VIN plate, but it's just a... Uh, uh, plate on the inside of the door there I just I've never seen one like that and look there's your VIN CKE I think that's for a blazer if I'm not right so I, I'm not I'm not real big on these things but anyway I saw that this I thought that was kind of cool looking but look this here's the rest, rest of the pictures here but look this thing is pretty left the rear end and everything in here uh, look like it was, must have been raised up pretty high must have had some big tires on it because it's raised up pretty high but, I mean, the body's in pretty good shape. Look, at it. it's a good color, too. This paint's it's a good color on this paint here. You know, when this thing was new, I bet this thing was really nice looking when it was brand new. Look at that. Man, oh, man. I don't know if that's a tilt steering wheel or not on there. Can't tell looking at automatic air. Yeah, I think this is a... Uh, yeah, this is automatic. But, uh, yeah, because there's the printle thing there. I don't know what that is, but anyway. Uh, got all the gauges. No tachometer, but it's got all the gauges on it. I guess they didn't put a tachometer on these back then. I, I've never paid any attention to it, but I guess they don't. But uh, anyway, anyway, I just saw this thing. I thought I'd just pass it along to you. I just thought it was kind of cool looking. It's in California, so shipping's going to be a problem. And unless you live in California, it's not. <laughs> it wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, man, let's strip the orange color. Blah, 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 enhance. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't run. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I saw this. This is uh, I thought I'd pass it along to you. If I see something else, I'll I'll, I'll send it to you. But you never know what you're gonna find on cool part here when you're looking around. It's just uh, you know, I always thought, but I always say if you're looking for something, sooner or later it's gonna show up here. <laughs> That's what you used to always say. But anyway, alrighty. Well, I'll let you go and 
uh, talk to you until I see something, uh, see something else, and I'll pass it on to you. Anyway, talk to you all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.